I now want to take, take a brief look at the uh, League of Nations crisis. After the American Liberians had uh, completed their domination and control over the hinterland, uh, they gained uh, emergence, uh, again uh, emerged a serious threat to Liberian survival. This was the crisis of 1930, uh, which centered on the labor practice and, and charges of slavery by the League, League, League of Nations, uh, which was sort of supported by the United States under the President Hoover. Uh, in the interior, both chiefs and influential uh, American Liberians had used and abused the local labor since the beginning of the, the, of the Republic. For example, in Liberia, uh, a traditional pawning system as uh, indigenous Africans would work for pay to pay off debts. Also, according to Je Je Gus Lebanon, in Liberia, uh, these have been, uh, there, there have been cases of ponds remaining unredeemed for 40 years or more. More of the labor abuses was tied directly to government policy. Uh, for instance, when Liberia uh, officials traveled throughout the various districts, they demanded unpaid labor to carry their supplies. These abuses were considered minor compared to some of the other uh, charges brought by the, the League of Nations. What really aroused the international community were the midnight raids on local villages by Liberian soldiers seeking labor for coca sugar plantations on the island of Fernando Po. Uh, this issue became serious once it was discovered that President King and Vice President Alan Yancey were involved in this very lucrative enterprise, which brought $45 a head for each of the 3,000 men ex uh, exported for every 1,500 recruits uh, over the, uh, the, the quota. Uh, this injustice done to the local people first gained international attention and came to the head as a result of, of Thomas Faulkner's visit to the United States. Faulkner made a deliberate attempt to expose the situation in Liberia. In 1928, Faulkner contested the election with President King as the nominee of the, the People's Party. He received 9,000 votes, whereas President King was accredited with 43,000 votes, though there were only 15,000 qualified voters in the Republic. It was not long before the American press picked up the story, and, um, um, and in response to Faulkner's charges, the State Department sent a note of protest in 1929. 20, uh, At this time, Liberia was also attempting to secure a loan from, from the League of Nations as part of the United States uh, Liberia Agreement to International Commission of Inquiry, which would con concluded that Liberia was guilty of participating in a system hardly distinguishable from organized slave trade in the enforcement of which the Liberian Frontier Force and uh, services and influences of certain high government officials uh, are constantly and systematically used. According to the League of Nations, the finding of the forced labor uh, system in Liberia characterized a system that differed a little from slavery. While on the surface it, is, uh, it resembled a system of slavery, technically it was not as I will explain in a few minutes, this system of labor, forced and labor, forced labor, was only found was not only found in Liberia but throughout much of West Africa. For instance, this this, this phenomenon of labor recruitment was also found in Sierra Leone and uh, Sierra Leone as well as uh, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, and Ghana. In 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 these other African colonies, the primary difference were that labor was recruited by the indigenous villagers. Uh, who uh, not only spoke the language but were uh, familiar with the local custom, whereas in Liberia all the recruitment agents were government officials. In other words, Liberia labor recruitment was a government policy rather than a colonial, pol a colonial policy enforced by village chiefs. While the system of forced labor resembled indentured servitude, uh, in the labor it was a contractual in this uh, arrangement. It differed and that the workers receive a wage for their la labor, not much, but a wage. In reality, slavery, of course, uh, and is a system where labor is free and unpaid. Uh, forced labor in Liberia was, uh, 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 was, a, was a serious problem. Uh, 
the 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 Africans captured the work on the island of Fernando Fo, Fernando Po had no choice in the matter. However, since they did not receive um, uh, they received very little pay. Since they, since they did receive very, very little pay, it, it could not be considered a slavery as Liberian nationalists such as Twee, Twee Wynn and Anthony uh, Nimbley have argued. Um, as part of the government involvement in, in the uh, labor development, the government officials in Liberia agreed to uh, supply the Spanish company on the island of Fernando Po, 1,500 natives each year. In turn, the Spanish government agreed to pay 1,000 pounds sterling each year to um, uh, to uh, to the government. Um, for the government involvement, the Liberian government also received, received money, uh, and also the natives uh, himself received an advancement of about three pounds sterling. Um, the, the village chiefs also received a token fee for each person. As we see the system, was technically not slavery, however, it did represent a form of government oppression. Now, some of the uh, Liberian leaders that participated in this labor, re labor recruitment scheme, of course, was President King, Alan Yancey, Edwin Barkley, John Cooper, Samuel Ross, uh, Philip Simpson, uh, J.W. Roberts, uh, J.B. Watson, and of course, Captain Howard P.C. Uh, Parker. William S. Tubman was a central figure in and was a labor recruitment agent for the Liberian government. Tubman became very wealthy from his participation in this business of labor recruitment. Uh, whether this is true or not is, uh, some s scholars said this is merely, uh, merely uh, conjecture. However, what is known is that Tubman was active in labor recruitment from the beginning uh, to, to the termination of the system. As a result of the commission's finding and because of President King's acceptance of the league recommendation and suggestions of the International Commission of Inquiry into slavery and forced labor in Liberia, and his agreement to propose to postpone some re to po to postpose propose some forms, he was forced to resign. Secretary of State Barclay became the next president, and under his leadership, the government refused to accept the commission proposal. However, the economic situation got better as the Firestone rubber plantation got off the ground. Consequently, there was no longer a need for a long uh, for the Liberian government that was seeking from the League of Nations. And in 1935, uh, president Roosevelt decided to let the controversy die out uh, when diplomatic relations uh, were resumed. Uh, in response to the um, uh, League of Nations, President Barclay attempted to bring a, a better deal to the hinterland by introducing a public health service and other programs of benefit to the local people. However, his reforms uh, efforts were undermined by certain Whig leaders who were determined that these uh, American Liberians and local Africans uh, who gave testimony to the League Commission were to be disciplined. Tubman, who, was, was, who, who became the next president, acted as the legal advisor for most of the Liberian officials involved in the labor controversy. 